Warren makes a portable winch. It's called the Pulsall. It's 120 volt corded AC power. In fact, it's semi-portable because you better make sure you have AC power wherever you need to get your job done. It's AC, it's not DC like the one wired to the front of my Defender. This winch is designed for people who don't have friends, a lot like me, and they need to get a job done, like get the Mustang off the trailer, or I don't know, hoist an engine in the air. Can I do both of those things? Well, watch this video and find out. In theory, this thing should tick all the boxes and make your life easier. It replaces old fashioned come alongs, lifts up to a thousand pounds. You could double that if you have snatch blocks. And it's made in China. Two safety things before we get started, and believe you me, two is not enough. Number one, make sure you know where your power cord is at all times. If you run over it or if it gets stuck with something, it can end pretty badly. Number two, we're going to need to reinforce the attachments on the inner side of the bed. So using something, I should have used something like this truck bed bar that would reinforce the attachment area and just kind of push it outwards versus this is getting pulled in and ripped off. You'll see what I'm talking about as the video goes along. You know, in life, I make a lot of mistakes, but I learn a lot of things. This thing has the pulling power of, I don't know, about six fully grown men. But what else I learned is that the attachments on the inner portion of my bed, they're very weak. This is something I'm gonna need to address as I move into the future. At this point, find your nearest AC outlet unless you have a stout inverter in your running vehicle. Gotta pack the electrical cords. All right, you're getting a sneak peek to all the prep work before we pull this Mustang on top of the trailer. Definitely gonna need a longer extension cord. We'll just drive the truck closer to the Mustang instead of bringing the Mustang to the truck. Keep this video saved. Put it in your favorites so that you know what direction out is. You can see here inside of the mechanism, the spool. The reason to keep this in mind, I watched another YouTube video where a guy, I guess, must have got this secondhand or used in the person before him, spooled it up in reverse. So uh, this is right out of the box. Just keep, keep this video handy. As you can see in the video, when this thing's winding it back in, it turns itself into a rat's nest. So I like to tilt the whole mechanism onto one side, spool it up a little bit, tilt it to the other side just to try to get it evenly put in like a regular freaking winch. See these dinky cargo straps? Don't use them. Use these big bad ones right here because what you're pulling... You don't want it to snap. These yellow ones are the ones I use because um, we're gonna here, here in, the, in a few seconds we're gonna have some power. We're gonna have some tension on these cords. This is the point where I become intimate with the strength of the internal portion of the bed and the crushingness.
point where we gotta chalk it, chalk it, and then shorten this and do it all over again. the point where I make a mistake you see the left rear wheel where it bumps against the trailer right there um, I should have straightened out the Mustang uh, and because I didn't I put a lot of pressure on this winch look and see what happens what I found out here they have a load limiter a load limiting light it blinks red it basically means that you have overloaded the circuit and it needs to it just needs to rest for a second so that's when I decided to use the, the old pulley that was on the trailer just to give it a rest, to reposition the Mustang, and uh, I came back to it. What I found out is that this thing is really good at dropping the Mustang, just letting it go at an easy pace. And in conclusion, that's, that's my review of this thing, man. I think I'm only going to use this portable winch to drop the Mustang at a steady flow, a steady pace. Um, the length is only 15 inches on the portable winch, so I'm going to head back to the mechanical winch to pull it up. It's three or four times the length, so I'll be able to pull it from the road. It's just loud and noisy. Also, this uh, portable winch is actually pretty loud. I can, I'm sure I pissed the neighbor off or two. Um, but I need to practice with this thing so I can drop the Mustang off in the garage, and I won't need help from the neighbors. I'm going to keep using this thing, see if I can't get the hang of it and see if I like it. If I don't like it, well, I'll just keep on using it pl plugged into the house. Maybe I'll just use it as a safety precaution, something to quickly go out and grab a hook so I can reposition the vehicle. Or if I do like it, I'll install an inverter in my truck so I can actually get the power from my truck to that rear winch. Maybe I'll even use it as a front-facing winch too. Um, but that's the next step if I do like this thing to actually power up my truck so I can get this winch powered up AC as well. Just keep in mind if you're going to install an inverter or you know what if I'm going to install an inverter in this thing I'm going to make sure it's Pretty freaking stout. Um, connected to the battery. Just get this thing super, super powerful a lot, enough to get quite a bit of wattage. Um, and just get some full-fledged power so I can have it on board in the truck. On board power, on board AC power. The remainder of this video is just me moving my Mustang from the side yard to the garage and how I use the electrical winch to drop it down slowly. I still need the help from the neighbors, so that's something I'm going to need to... I ordered myself some chalks, so uh, you'll watch here. You'll see in the background how I'm dropping the Mustang, but I may as well talk about some technical things. I know that ordering the protection plan from anywhere is a scam on most things, but seeing how this thing can rip the core out of the earth, maybe break itself... Uh, the Amazon, I ordered this thing from Amazon and they do offer a protection plan. I opted not to do it and I am, um, I may as well check the manufacturer's warranty. I don't know what it is, but, uh, since I didn't get the protection plan, I'm at the mercy of that and seeing how this thing's, this thing can, it can, it can rip a hole in your wall. This thing's super strong. Um, it might be a good idea if you're going to use this often to get yourself the protection plan.